particularly around the country, there are many hundreds of young people who die specifically uh, as a result of alcohol-related motor vehicle accidents. The facts speak for themselves. 50% of fatal road accidents involving people under 25 also involve alcohol. And so you have a very dangerous combination of uh, impairments of driving ability, particularly coordination, uh, and also uh, an increase in self-confidence in one's driving ability. What we've sort of uh, got here is some, uh, some rather new trendy uh, eyewear, which is going to give you the effect of sort of uh, being uh, intoxicated. Ian Luff runs advanced driving courses and many of his students are teenagers sent along by anxious parents. But what they learn here is worthless if they're drunk. It all comes back to the ability to be able to react with what's going on there which comes back to your vision. And naturally if your vision is affected, you can't drive a motor car. We'll sort of put these lovely glasses on through here. Apart from looking like a new fashion statement. Today, a little experiment using special glasses that simulate what we see when we've had too much to drink. You feel a bit drunk, do you? Yeah. Oh, oh. Well, there you go. You can see, turn around. But I think we walk back. They still are cognitively alert like the soap, but they are visually and behaviorally and perceptually messed up like they're drunk or on drugs. Oh, no. Glasses were invented by American optometrist Dr. Sigmund Slavin. We asked the doctor to send us over a couple of pairs. Yeah, along the straight line. You've got to stay on the line. Why are you wandering? Because the line doesn't go straight. No, you're not going straight. It's oh. nothing to do with your vision. <laughs> so imagine you're driving the car now. You're on, in a hurry and you're going to head down the road. Try and go as straight as possible. While you're driving off the line, you better come back on the road. You're right off the road. Where are you? I don't know. You don't know? But imagine if you're driving a car, you said you didn't know where you were. That's right. So if you're drunk, you couldn't drive, did you? No. Walking was tricky enough, but what about driving with double vision and dizziness? First, the expert has a go. This is absolutely scary. I mean, I don't, I can't even tell how fast we're going. Oops. Oh, gee, this is crazy. I mean, I mean, it was tough enough for Ian, who's probably driven through these hats a thousand times. But what about for a novice oh, like Bridget? Oh! And another one. Oh, Bridget, you killed another one. Can you imagine people actually driving when that's what they're seeing? I suppose you don't think you're at the state of mind where you don't really know what you're doing, but you could not possibly get to drive properly when you have vision like that. There's no way you can keep control the wheel, let alone try and drive on a road. So you think it's a worthwhile exercise? Uh, it's good for these people who think they can drive when they're drunk because they'll really see what they are like when they try and drive. It's, it's amazing. We can't... I was thinking, which is that? They're really not going to keep control. <laughs> While the effect of the glasses might seem extreme and even funny, <laughs> Professor John Saunders says every weekend teenagers are drinking till they fall down. You're really dizzy. You're really dizzy. Yeah. Presently, about 40% of... Um, uh, young men aged 16 to 18 uh, binge drink at least uh, once a fortnight, and about 30% of uh, young women uh, do the same. You are now under arrest. The introduction of random breath testing and ads like this is helping to get the message across slowly. Drink driving. It's not that bad. It's a crime. Teenagers are more aware of it than they were 10 years ago, and I think there has been some uh, benefit from, all, from the campaigns on alcohol, but more needs to be done. We cannot uh, sit back on our laurels, and uh, I think uh, consideration should be given to um, including information on uh, alcohol and its effects on driving as part of the training uh, for um, uh, passing the driving test. <laughs> And Dr. Slavin in America has already had inquiries about his invention from all over the world. <laughs> I have no doubt in my own mind. And I think that we will be able to educate uh, young people that being drunk is not such a great loss. Well, it doesn't matter how skilled you are, as I first before myself, I mean, I knocked over, I think I've had four or five hats, which meant that the, uh, the skill had gone out the window. I mean, uh, once the vision's impaired, I mean, as we say, that. Uh, People who are blind drunk uh, can't handle a motor car in any shape or form.